I've gone from being a laboratory technician to marketing in technology, to marketing in telecommunications, to being a financial advisor, and then being a wealth management planner. I know I'm meant to do what I'm doing now. My wife came home one day and she said, we're not saving enough money for retirement. I didn't know if she was right and I didn't know if she was wrong. It, it just bothered me that I didn't know that answer. I'm like, I, we should know this. We both have our MBAs. And then it dawned on me, they don't teach you personal finance in business school. They teach you corporate finance and there's a difference. When I got laid off, and it, it was, again, it was a surprise. It's, it's always gonna be a little bit of a, a, a shock. Um, but that's where, I, that's where the window opened up because I had been doing this on the side, kind of as a hobby. I really give a lot of credit to my wife. She said, you know, why don't you think about being a financial planner? She said, you're always up till midnight on these spreadsheets working on our finances, and you're always giving people advice. The CFP absolutely was, was deeply personal because it was a need I had and as I learned it myself then I wanted to share and teach with others and that's, that's the most rewarding part about what I do. What really validated that I was in the right field for me was when all of my clients from Morgan Stanley followed me to Merrill Lynch. All of them. <laughs> if you find yourself in, in, a, in a situation where you're laid off or there's an involuntary termination of your, of your employment, that is an opportunity. It's an opportunity to, to explore different things and to find, um, find out you know, what you really want to do and go for it because there's no reason not to.